I just want to set the focus of the conversation with a simple statement. The conversation about masculinity is a conversation about disconnection. It's about the ways in which our larger culture of masculinity for generations has taught boys and men to perform a version of masculinity which is inherently uh, individualizing and isolating and disconnecting. And there was a guy named Paul Kibble in the early 1980s who uh, went into high schools in the Bay Area as part of an initiative to try and understand why there was so much violence against women in that community. Uh, and he ended up asking boys, what are the rules for being a man? And the answers he got back were pretty straightforward. Um, and we have a slide here, I believe, with, um, with a list of you know, what most of those rules were that he, that he came across. Uh, and the first and top rule of this so-called man box, he called it the act like a man box. And he literally drew a box up on the, on the blackboard in these high schools and wrote the rules in. And uh, whenever a boy got outside the boundaries of that box, of those sets of rules, they would be policed and bullied by other boys to get back into that sort of narrow performance of masculinity. But the first and foremost rule of the man box was don't show your emotions. And we have uh, generations of masculinity. We have uh, media. We have uh, parenting styles. We have all these different reinforcements of that idea that if you're having an emotional moment, hide it. And it begins uh, in infancy for boys. Uh, they fall down, scrape their knee on the playground at age three or four and start crying. The message to them is, okay, shake it off, brush it off. You're all right. You're okay. And if they fail to stop crying, uh, maybe their cohort, maybe their parent will say, you know, man up, be a man. Uh, or they might say, what are you, a sissy? What are you, a girl? And in this way, they're sort of telling that kid that this expression, uh, this most extreme expression of emotion, which is crying, uh, is, isn't really appropriate for boys. 